Hey guys, I'm David, welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be testing inverted whoops against uninverted whoops because I've got a, a lot of questions. Does it make a difference? How does it feel? How does it fly? So I think the way air travels through your frame actually makes a very big difference. When you invert your whoop, you've got air coming in from the top. It hits these struts, goes through the props and comes out unobstructed which gives a clean air, clean air flow, uh, clean exhaust of air on the bottom of your whoop. This will help in stability and probably a little bit in efficiency. When you turn it around, you get air coming in unobstructed, but the exhaust of air will be obstructed. The air will hit these struts and will cause a little bit of turbulence. And I think that's what makes the difference when you invert a whoop or a drone. Now this is my test setup. I have built a simple thrust stand with a scale underneath. This is a very accurate scale. It goes up to 250 grams. I'm using a couple of lipos as a counterbalance. I got my inverted drone attached on the end of the thrust stand with a very small lipo strap so it doesn't uh, interfere with airflow on the bottom. So first I'm going to charge all my batteries. They are 450 mAh 1S batteries. They're all HV batteries. Once that's done, we're going to start testing. Okay, so I thought this would be very straightforward, just testing some thrust uh, outputs of some whoops, but it didn't turn out to be so easy. I had very inconsistent numbers coming from my 65mm whoop. I, I've tried using a single motor, uh, I also tried my 75mm whoop, and those numbers were a lot better, a lot more consistent. I don't really know what the problem was with my 65 millimeter whoop i do think the fc is one of the problems because your fc has influence on the total output of your motor so it actually would be better if the motors were uh, powered directly so they would all power up 100 percent all of the time without interference of something maybe even a better way was suggested by a friend of mine is to put this into a fluid dynamic simulation software and simulate the differences between using your motor inverted or non-inverted. But since I don't have access to one of those and it's kind of above my level, if there's anyone out there who can use it and who wants to put in the time to do this, I, that would be so awesome. You can hit me up or let me know if you get some results. Now for my actual results. Let's start with the maximum thrust recorded with my setups. The 75mm uninverted whoop had a maximum thrust of 82 grams. Of all my testing, all my batteries, 82 was the maximum number coming out of it. My inverted 75mm whoop had a maximum thrust of 88 grams, which is a 6.8% difference. And that's quite a big difference for a whoop that only weighs 19 to 20 grams i believe it does i think it's 19 grams this would mean the 75 millimeter inverted whoop actually can deliver more power it's faster and it will accelerate faster it could also mean that you can go equally fast with the 75 millimeter inverted with lower throttle so you would fly more efficiently and fly longer and I think that's one of the things I've been noticing with flying inverted whoops. They tend to fly a little bit longer. And in case of my 65mm inverted whoop, it can carry the weight of the 450mAh battery better than the uninverted whoop. What striked me the most was when doing testing, I tested each battery with bursts of 100% throttle until it came below four volts and all the numbers from a completely charged battery until the four volt threshold were consistently higher on the inverted whoop than on the uninverted whoop i don't know why that happens but 
it came back to me in every test I did and I tested it uh, a couple of times. I went from inverted to uninverted and back and tested again and it happened every single time. Not only does your inverted whoop give a little bit more power on 100% throttle, it's also giving you more power when your battery is starting to sag or starting to... Um, when your battery is somewhat used. In this test, I can conclude inverted whoops actually have better efficiency and produce more power than a normal whoop. And I hope somebody's out there, as I said, that can put all this into some software or really test this more scientifically than this, even more scientifically than this. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm hoping to see one of those tests one of these days, but that's what I got. And maybe you should try it for yourself. If you turn up with something else, yeah, let me know. I'm, I'm interested to know. So, yeah. I came across one of those tests a while back from a guy who already did almost the same test as I did, although he did it in a, a bit of a different way. He did it with a single motor. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description below if you're interested in watching that one. All right, guys, I'm happy that's over. It was a stressful couple of days, actually. I, I got a lot of yeah headaches about this and testing all of this. So uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in my last video about my Mobula 6, I am going to try and improve it. I'm going to try and get some weight off and make it fly as good as it possibly can. So if you're interested in that video, stay tuned, have fun flying and building. Take care, guys. Bye.